Let's move on to North Africa now. Amid a deep economic crisis, Egypt's government has laid out a pretty ambitious plan to turn the banks of the Suez Canal into an international hub of trade and investment. Now, with the details on this multi-billion dollar project, here's CCTV's Yasser Hakim. This is the project that will elevate Egypt to a higher level. It's our project for the future, for a better Egypt. Those words by the Prime Minister sum up the importance of the Suez Canal development project to the new leadership. We will widen the canal from one to four lanes to allow more passing ships. We established a free trade zone. We will construct underwater tunnels, road and all infrastructure for business, such as repair and supply centers for ships, mining production, fisheries, railway carriages production and factories. It will employ two million workers in ten years. This mega-project will cost approximately $150 billion, way beyond the country's financing ability, which has led the government to embark on a marketing mission to attract foreign investors to the project. Investing in the Suez Canal will be profitable to any business. The canal separates the African continent from Asia and it provides the shortest maritime route between Europe and lands on the Indian and Western Pacific Oceans. It is one of the world's most heavily used shipping lanes. It is one of the most important waterways in the world. China already became a pioneer by allocating a free trade area to establish about 30 new plants worth over $3 billion in the Suez Canal. To attract more countries, the business community launched a campaign sponsored by the state called Istifaf or Stand Together. Foreign investors will be encouraged to invest directly or through bonds. No land will be sold, only long-term leases. We will work on a long-term strategy to attract investment. The Suez Canal currently brings in about $5 billion annually. If we succeed with time, that can reach $30 billion or more per year. As part of the campaign, officials announced the establishment of three coalitions and NGOs in the United Kingdom, the United States and Saudi Arabia in cooperation with Egyptian and foreign businessmen in order to promote the project and attract financial support from the Egyptian diaspora. Egyptians consider the construction of the Suez Canal as their greatest economic achievement in recent history. The current leadership says it expects this development project to be even greater. This is Yasser Hakim for CCTV, Cairo.